The purpose of my experiment is to make this look like this using this. I did some research on Instructables.com. There are a lot of people out there who have shown ways to do electroplating. You can do etching with copper. You can do all sorts of cool stuff. So Instructables.com, check it out if you need any further information. It's my hypothesis that I can totally do this without setting anything on fire or electrocuting myself. Material-wise, we've got a small container filled with water, some salt, an old phone charger, a piece of copper pipe, and a steel bolt. I'm using a phone charger here, but any kind of a DC power source will work. You could use a battery, you can use pretty much any kind of a charger. Down at the other end, I've already done some prep work. I cut off the end and I attached two extra wire leads so I could get these separate from each other. And then on the very ends, I stripped off about an inch of exposed wire. Since we're going to be using the water to conduct electricity, we're going to need to up its conductivity a little bit, therefore the salt. So I'm just going to try to put as much salt as this thing's going to hold and then stir it up real good in there. One of these leads I'm going to take and wrap around that bolt right there. Just like that, so it's got a little bit of contact. The other one I'm going to wrap around my piece of copper pipe. Before I have any electricity on this, I'm going to go ahead and complete my circuit, drop both of these in the salt water solution, and then once everything is clear, we're going right up to the power source. Once you plug it in, you're going to notice that the copper starts to bubble. If it turns out that your other part is bubbling, it's because you've got them connected the other way around. And uh, honestly, I'm not really sure which is which, so we're going to see if this works. I'm going to now leave it to sit for a while, let those electrons go through, hopefully taking the copper particles with it, taking them over to the bolt, and then depositing them there whenever the electron comes through. Fingers crossed, time lapse. You see that the water is starting to get cloudy and a little bit greenish uh, brown. This is from the copper atoms coming off of the copper. This is starting to turn a real nice color. It's uh, been about two minutes maybe and there's even something chunky starting to float around in the water. I've noticed that if you accidentally connect the circuit directly it makes a weird buzzing noise. I'm not sure if you can hear it on the camera but There's definitely a sound going on there. Okay, so results. This thing's been going for about a half an hour now, and uh, let's go see how it looks. As you can see, the water has turned almost completely black. There are pieces of uh, green and orange stuff floating in it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unplug this. And then we'll get to looking real close. The copper has kind of turned more of a pink color than an orange. The bolt that I use, this is a stainless steel bolt, and uh, it actually doesn't look like anything's really happened to it. The copper wire that's attached is almost a red color, but the, uh, the bolt itself looks just about how it was whenever I got it brand new. So in conclusion, electroplating is kind of tough I guess. Um, maybe I had the wires hooked up wrong. It, uh, it does feel rough, which it didn't before, so there's definitely something going on here. If I were going to do the experiment again, I would try switching the wires, uh, maybe try using something different, uh, maybe a coin or um, something that's not stainless steel. But I hope you guys had fun watching this crazy thing going on. And I will see you in a fortnight.